Hello there, everybody. Dingle Crash here with Crash Fan Nine Nine Four, or is it uh, Crash Legend Twenty Five? I forget. <laughs> and today we're back with uh, Classroom Chaos. Now, um, this has to be uh, actually one of my favorite parts about this game, and I don't even remember when was the last time when we actually recorded anything. <laughs> uh, April. I believe it was April. If my psych psychopathic memory recalls correctly, psychopathic it was April. memory. I'm um, obviously just. What are you doing? That guy's gonna catch you. Okay. No, he's not. You can actually skip that entire fucking session. Oh, I'm I pretty sure it. you would show us. Yeah. You didn't even kill the kid. Yeah, you don't need to kill him. You can skip him. I don't like snitches, Nanny. You should have freaking <laughs> spun him into the night. <laughs> uh, well, I tried to, but I was kind of too far away. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, what kind of classroom would have death traps like that? I know it's the Academy of Evil, but I doubt you want to kill your students. <laughs> well, you do. You wouldn't know. Well, Trusting I wouldn't know. Why am I to like that? Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the camera just shat itself. Now, um, all of you Crash fans are probably very, very excited uh, regarding the news about Crash actually uh, coming, coming back. back. Well, I guess, I, I'm not sure if you can call that coming back or not, because it's it's a, a remastered, like a reboot, <laughs> not, not a reboot, but like fully remastered from the ground up, so that means... Um, it's gonna be a more polished, uh, game. I'm not too sure if they're gonna make any changes for Crash Bandicoot 1 in particular, because you already know, like, Crash Bandicoot 1 was, um, its mechanics were pretty simple, which is, was just running and spinning. That's all it was. I'm not too sure if they're gonna add anything such as... Uh, slide Power spinning. ups, double jumps. Yeah, sliding, yeah. double jumps, or anything like that. I'm not too sure if they're gonna keep it, keep the gameplay mechanics as they are, or add some, add some stuff to it. It's pretty interesting um, to know what they're gonna do, but we'll only be able to figure that out uh, once we're gonna reach uh, 2017. Uh, I believe so. Is it gonna be out in mm -hmm. 2017? I'm not too sure. Maybe. It's, it was unspecified. I mean, judging by the fact that they barely mentioned it in E3, I think. It will either be late 2017 or 2018 for release. We probably will get updates soon, though, as far yeah. as the production. But I honestly think... Um, I'd have to slightly disagree with you. I think this is kind of a comeback. More so, it's just more of like a... Let's give him a test run. Let's see if we, if we could really do something with Crash, which is a, a pretty smart, solid move by Activision from a business standpoint. Like, you're yeah. putting him in Skylanders, introducing him to new kids. You know, it's like you're also oh! thinking of the... <laughs> All right, yes, you're also thinking of the... <laughs> you're thinking of the current generation. And, um... Yeah, it's more of a test run, and then you're also pleasing the older fans who have been wanting to see this furry well, fuck yeah, back, in terms, including myself. In terms of Skylanders, I don't understand why people are moaning about Skylanders. I personally, I, I do like Skylanders. A, the only reason mm -hmm. why they hated Skylanders is because of uh, Sparrow's Spire. design, which is fucking ridiculous. I mean, the gameplay, you platformers are nearly gone. Just like right. deal with reality, like uh, platformers are nearly gone. S Skylanders is one of the greatest platformers out there. It's it's a really a really really good franchise. Of course, they're milking out uh, in terms of uh, the the figurines that they have for uh, per game and stuff like that. I know it costs a shit ton of money. But think of it as as if you're a collector. Oh, you fucking bitch! I cannot. Yeah, if you're a collector, I you're a fucking one, bitch. I remember one one time I managed to do this in <laughs> one go, and without fucking dying every fucking second. I'm sucking ass. You've lost your touch, sir. <laughs> yeah, you, you've I, lost your touch. Well, I haven't played this for a long time now. <laughs> 
I, but I, uh, you know, I I haven't played Skylanders. Um, to be honest with you, I don't necessarily care for it. Uh, now that Crash is coming to it, I don't I, I don't I can't say oh, I fuck. will get it for sure. I mean, I'm kind of interested oh, in no. doing it now, but it's you know, <laughs> again, it's up. it's not completely bad. I know people were complaining about the design as well, and it's like, dude, you, you can't really just be glad he's back for fuck's sake. I mean, really, now is not the time to nitpick things. Here's the Not thing. to mention, people, oh my fucking god! <laughs> yes, people, um, oh my fucking god, that's my reaction. People all the time. are, people are not very pleased with many decisions that companies do, but um, sometimes they do listen to their fans, sometimes they don't. Since Crash had, oh my fucking god! Since Crash, oh my fucking god! Why the fuck? <laughs> I keep on fucking up, fucking stupid students, fucking assholes. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! I keep on You're fucking gonna keep up. dying. I'm gonna wake my parents up by fucking yelling like this. <laughs> I'm getting angry with this. Um, what was I going to say? Um, We're talking about uh, people. People are not gonna not be. Pleasing. Yeah, people are not gonna be pleased with. Uh, certain companies' decisions with video games and stuff like that, and um, I think that if Crash is gonna actually have a comeback, which he does, uh, the best way to introduce him to to new players is by putting him in Skylanders. Yeah, exactly. I think it's As a I very said, smart like that's decision, rather than oh my god, very... you're actually in Skylanders. It's it's a very smart decision. In, in terms of uh, business, you know, I know a lot of people kind of get annoyed and bothered by the fact that Activision has this uh, scumbag entrepreneurship mentality, but I mean, that's that is essentially at the end of the day, as much as it pains me to say it, this, this industry is a big business, and that's why Activision does the very uh, scumbag move, pulls the scumbag oh moves God! like they do. Like for example, just just a quick example, you know the whole uh, Call of Duty 4 remastered being in the new Call of Duty, you're gonna have to pay like 80 bucks or something, you know, everyone's mad at that, but you know, oh that's the way God. you're gonna hook people into getting that shit. Yeah. Um, but no, anyways, back on topic. I, like you said, I think it was, it's it's a good test run. What it's, the it's like, fuck? Let's see how Crash will really do. Especially considering the fact that Activision can seem a little stingy, especially yeah. with this furry fuck. I think it's a very, it's a, it's a decent, oh it's a good move to put him in Skylanders. Oh, I don't like his design. Well, I mean, hey man. What, oh what my god, it's, what the fuck? It's Skylanders, it's not the actual. Stop raging, let me sound smart for once in my life. <laughs> what the fuck, I keep on falling like a fucktard every fucking second. Yeah, and you're making me look like a fucktard because you're interrupting me. Now I forgot what I was Sorry. saying. No, you something were... about <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> wow, that's Oh wait, I remember. I, um, I mean, look, it's like it's his design in Skylanders. Who knows if it'll be the same in the freaking remastered? If it is, man, who gives a shit? Let's just be glad he's coming back. Doesn't look completely terrible. Yeah, he looks over the top cartoony, but hey, man, what the it's fuck? good. Crash looks like. His early designs as uh, that's another thing I was gonna say. Willy Look Wombat. at some of the early sketches by by um uh, what's his name Charles Emblis. Charles Emblis, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like he he actually looks very similar to those sketches. Like like you said, yeah. Uh, Willy Wombat. Um. So guys, come on, just be happy he's back. Although to be honest with you, I haven't seen much people complain about it. I see more happy fans than um stupid picky bastards. Which actually makes me happy because it's like finally this uh, this uh, split fan base can is coming to one solid emotion again. You know, like hey, I'm glad he's back instead oh my of God. fuck. Oh hey, my don't God. don't let that robot and don't let Rob kill you. <laughs> Get that oh, shit. <laughs> what the hell was that? What the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking nearly fucking died. Good fucking fuck! Yeah, you died now, boy. That's a good <laughs> I did thing not you know this when, where the fuck I was running to. 
What I want to know is who the hell takes care of what? the plumbing in this damn school? There's acid here. God damn. Yeah, I don't understand it either. I, I'm confused. Like, dude, I feel like I haven't played this game for years. Holy shit. <laughs> and this class it's alone, good. what the fuck? <laughs> I'm scared <laughs> to make a jump. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh shit. Okay, you got the pop stole. Let's get out of here. I was about to say apples. It's fucking mm. apple what the hell? Where did he come from? from here. I have no idea. Get back to the airship. Make sure it's mooring ropes. I think that's secure. just a shitty excuse to spawn him. <laughs> yeah, bro, quite possibly. And the last time you see him, he flies up the pipelines, but then he somehow squeezes out of those three little holes. It, it's physical. That does not make physical sense, <laughs> but hey. Yeah, I don't. Why am I trying to logic into this game? That's that's what I'm doing wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> this game wins. But what I like to do is actually wait and get more, um, um, you know, uh, ammo to use my gun because you can kind of, you can actually kind of run low on ammo and you can screw yourself over, yeah. which is something that I really don't like. Uh, yeah, it can get rather frustrating, and I fucking died. Wonderful. <laughs> I've been Wait. dying a lot. I, I don't know what is wrong with me. I think I lost around 10 lives by, <laughs> by doing what I'm doing, which is fucking yeah, horrible. Lost a little more, to be honest. Yeah, well. Lesson of the day here is stop playing games. Yeah, I mean, go and play Pokemon Go. Playing. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, let's play some Pokemon Go. You know, I, the other day I saw Pikachu in the middle of the highway. I, I put my car in a freaking park, put on my handbrake, and then, you know, <laughs> and I got out the car, and everyone was mad at me, and I said, you know what, fuck you, you just don't know how it feels like to be a Pokemon master. <laughs> you know, that's one thing, I, 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 how can you not have consideration for people trying to play this amazing game? It's been my ultimate dream since I was a child, <laughs> to be the ultimate master. And these assholes are, like, honking at me, they don't understand, like, no, this is life. This if you have life. to go what? somewhere, if you have to be somewhere at a specific time, it is your responsibility to get out early and, and make Pokemon it to your job go. early or wherever you want to be early. I am playing Pokemon Go. I am on a lifelong journey here. Finally, <laughs> at 21 years old of my life, I am able to fulfill this destiny. And oh you are God. fucking criticizing me for <laughs> stopping my car in the middle of the highway for a virtual Pikachu? Who's the real idiot here? You are. <laughs> like, I can't stand that shit. What the fuck? bullshit? Wow! What the hell? What the are game is I never, lagging. I never, I never wrapped my mind of what the hell those are. Are those like bunnies with like magnets on their heads? I head? have no idea what the fuck those are. We'll just call them Blasconians. <laughs> really, Sam? Really? <laughs> Fucking dumbass. <laughs> the first thing that comes up to mind is Blasconians. Really? Well, hey, man, I said it in a long time ago in the warped 105% playthrough in some random-ass part. I think it's Area 51. I can't remember correctly. That joke will now be immortalized. <laughs> what? It sounds, like, it sounds like a legitimate alien race. But anyways, let's get on with it. I remember that um, there is some type of a glitch that you can actually get into those classes that are, like, those classes that are over here on those sides. I'm not too right. sure, but there there is shit ton of tricks that you can do with uh, Twin Sanity, which is uh, really awesome, in my opinion. Um, there is a shit ton of glitches. I wonder if they're gonna remaster Twin Sanity ever, which oh, that, they probably won't. That, that'd be yeah, I don't think they would, but that'd be pretty cool. I mean, just imagine you get actually get to play the proper version. Yeah. I really hope that they're gonna do something like that. Well, actually, I don't hope for it that they would do something like that. I want them to make good video games, good crash games. I mean, not that. Well, I fucking. This is the biggest Cortex. opportunity. <laughs> well, yeah, but this is the biggest opportunity for a new era of crash games. Let's uh, let's hope that it is taken well. Uh, I, I don't know if I mentioned, I, I forgot to mention that 
I believe that the remasters are being supervised by Sony. So I have faith that they will be good. They, they should be in the correct hands. Yeah, it still belongs to Activision, but Sony is supervising. So. Yeah, we Sony's can be in actually, for a treat here. Um, Sony's taken really ca good care of uh, the Crash Bandicoot reboot. And which is which is actually very good. Um, I personally, I'm the type of person, it, you know, like, remember how people were like, oh my god, it, it, you know, we won Crash Bandicoot back, it's all Activision's fault. Every time people saw uh, fake evidence that Crash is gonna come back, people, it's like. People would not stop believing fucking uh, lies of people, which is fucking mm -hmm. annoying. It's just like they believe in fucking lies all the damn time. And uh, I mean, uh, what's the way? The other way you call it? Um, wow, I forgot what. They would it. trick people. Some people would would lie no. to others. Whenever, whenever somebody uploads a video with fake information about what's going to happen. I forgot what's the name of it. Oh, well, I mean that that yeah, you're they're lying to others. Scamming? No, not scamming. There is another way of wording it. I don't know. Faith healer? No, uh, oh my false god. False hope. Yeah, giving people scamming. Fun. Well, kind of scamming, yeah. Not kind of scamming, scamming. <laughs> Manipulating people's feelings. Ow, I just hit the microphone on my head. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I have to be honest with you. Uh, do that. Yeah. They just manipulate other people who are very gullible. Oh my it's, fucking god. It gets annoying. Um, this fucking shitty mechanics I don't know, of like, this game. Christ. Would you fuck off? <laughs> like, I. <laughs> I don't mean to brag or anything, I do mean to brag. But, um, you know, I, I remember specifically saying, especially when, when this, in Sony's shows, e, for the E3 shows, they were like kind of just putting little snippets of Crash here and there. I kind of like joked and said, okay, two things. Either Sony really hates the Crash fan base and they're playing with their feelings, or they're kind of just playfully saying, we're trying to get the rights back, hang tight. And then I also said, if anything, if Crash for, for Reels would ever be back, and I have a good hunch that he might be back soon. I just said that. I didn't specify an amount of time. I just said soon. Time flies. This is a couple years ago that I said this, yeah. too. Uh, he would come back with a remastered trilogy. Lo and behold, bam. And I hate to uh, say this, but uh, there's specific people in the world that would argue against my points. And well... <laughs> I was right, never wrong, and that's all that matters. But um, no, from 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 a serious standpoint, no, it's um, it's a good sign. I think I'm I'm very glad that he's uh coming back. Yeah, I mean, well, I think, I, as I, think I, said, I I'm one of these people who was waiting, who are waiting patiently, without, you know, freaking out about the games or about the, the earlier games and shit like that it's just like mm -hmm. in all honestly the the titans era it was something it, it was to bring something different to the table but people were to, too fucking sh shoved with their head up their ass where they, they were like oh my god this is bad this is horrible it's just like okay the titans era was really not that bad and and pretty much what was happen what was happening it was something more th that makes more sense in terms of gameplay rather than the classic classic games were obviously in the first games it's more cartoonish you spin you spin what the fuck you spin the enemies and shit like that and you know you kill them and you you progress uh, really fast through the game which that's what happens in the classic era you would progress really fast now 
people Since probably oh, oh wait cutscene don't fear the night with its long claws that scratch and its sharp teeth that bite under the covers there's no need to hide for your uncle's a monster and he's on your side <laughs> Ah, Nina, my adorable young niece. My, my, you're getting big and sneaky. Put her there, little lady. I see they need some adjustment. Let me take a look. Okay, young lady, let's see what you've learned. And here's my favorite part. This is my favorite part in the game. The Nina part is actually my favorite part in the game. Wait, wait, so, uh, okay, I think we'll actually have to uh, cut it off, because Rooftop Rampage is technically in another part, so we will actually have to cut it off right here, and we'll have to right. split the two parts, yeah. So, thanks okay. for watching, guys, don't forget to drop a comment and draw a like and subscribe if you haven't. And we shall see you in the next part into Insanity at Rooftop Rampage, so thank you, and goodbye. What he said.